Hey everyone, I got some free time and I decided to share some of my rigs. Uh, they are old, but I think it's worth looking into. Some of the rigs I would did do another way. I, I think the stick would be uh, looking a little bit different, but uh, we will look at it a little bit later. Let's start from this arm. Well, uh, this arm is actually uh, constructed with two pairs of the bones. First one is the red one that is basically a simple IT with uh, two bones in the chain and the second set is actually a little bit complex. The first uh, and the shoulder bone, the IT has um, stretch and compress enabled that allows the stretching and compressing obviously and it actually, the target contains the next set of the IT. So you may see in hierarchy the bone actually um, located in the target bone of the previous set. So this way it also has a, a stretch and compress enabled. So basically that's it. It's a basic uh, chain. Uh, the last thing is that this chain is constrained, you can see the constraint icon here, is constrained to this bone. So whenever the I key works, it actually follows 50% uh, to this bone. So it actually makes, it looks like it's working with I key and F key, but in, actually it's made with uh, three I key constraints. So that's it. It helps when you are uh, using the hand in 3D space a lot, like talking, mo moving the hand and showing, scratching the other part of the body, etc. You need to understand that before uh, making this rig. And in general, I would really avoid using this kind of complex rig. It uses three constraint, IT constraint and one transform constraint, this bone to this, so you can see it's highlighting. Uh, this is really costly for just one arm, so be careful when you deciding to do this kind of rig. And in mobile, I would really suggest not doing in any case this kind of rig, just two bones and better to work on the L uh, joint to make it very uh, smooth without breaking edges. I hope uh, soon I can make uh, another video explaining how to achieve the uh, nice bending on the joints, uh, like elbow, knees, mostly the problems are getting there. <coughs> So that's it. Uh, for the chest, it's actually basic IT. I'm not doing this kind of rigs right now. Again, I do just two bones. But just so you can see, the shoulders are parented, uh, are children to this bone. So you can stretch it and do whatever you want. They will uh, listen to that bone again. Uh, let's look at the arm. Uh, here we have fingers uh, rigged. Each finger has I key. It's not recommended. I'm not showing the right way. I just showed the old rig that I did and maybe you can learn something. It's uh, all the targets are uh, children to this bone and you can actually control the finger, the grasp of the hand with one bone and also control them separately. So this is nice way to have uh, fingers but in this case right now i would totally not do any rig on the fingers because the character is obviously not uh, moving the hand over the stick so it's mostly will stay like this so i wouldn't suggest doing on this kind of uh, on this situation so the last thing is the stick um, i did this way and you can see that it controls with uh, from the hand and it always looks at this point you can also move this so this is the way that i did and it worked actually good but i would really recommend doing another way because well it's much easy to do and it gives a lot of uh, freedom over the stick so let's do it right now 
it will take some one minute or so let's remove the target <coughs> and create another bone that actually uh, positions are the opposite than this bone let's uh, select the root bone as uh, parent and create that bone actually the opposite one to this bone let's remove this and uh, right now the last thing parent this hand bone to this newly created well now you just have one bone that is naturally controlled by the by one bone and note that we just removed uh, one constraint one i key and one additional bone so this will work and i i have tested this kind of setup with uh, with sticks and with uh, some characters that have actually animal leg and there i will show you in a moment okay here's the animal that actually half human half animal you can see that it works a similar way you can move its legs so and position however you want it actually works practically very good and i tested it right now i am standing on this setup rig setup so let's see another example this one looks uh, like an insect it has actually the same setup of the legs uh, well maybe the art looks different but the setup is the same so let's see the action how it actually works The animation uh, is very easy to do you just move the leg and rotate it and also so let's actually do one animation as an example like walking okay let's imagine our leg will go from this position to this position we move it there, we rotate, and in the middle position, we just move it back with more rotation. And at the end, we need to, it to slide back. And that's basically it. You can offset the rotation to give a nicer look. okay so that's it for this character also the lastly i would uh, like to show the face rig it's not super uh, good but again it works i don't just uh, move the bone too much um, anyway just to give the expression just to transfer the motion of the character you can see my other video about uh, face turn um, in my channel okay that's it thank you